Why do I have to earth? So, as we advise you to take out shielding projects, whether that be a, a sort of full uh, refurb of a room or building via painting, window film, netting, etc., or a, a bed canopy, we will almost certainly always advise you to earth that shielding solution. Um, why is that? All right, well, let's take a bed canopy to start. So, uh, a Effective bed canopies at the moment are all conductive. The older technology Swiss shield fabrics are not conductive, but they really are somewhat lacking now to, to deal with, with the high frequency Wi Fi and high frequency mobile networks that are becoming prevalent. So, the, the effective, our effective product, the, our go to product is, is block silver and that is um, and is conductive. So what that means is, since you will be using it as a bed canopy, it will likely be probably within a fairly close distance to your walls in your bedroom. They will tend to almost always actually have uh, electric electrical wiring in them. Electrical wiring emits low frequency Electro electromagnetic frequencies. They don't travel very far and they are not pulsed and they're, so they're not of the same nature as the frequency you're trying to shield with your canopy which would be perhaps your neighbor's Wi-Fi or a 3G, 4G, 4, 5G mast outside, you know, smart meter, whatever. Um, so that type of ENF is shielded by the bed canopy but because it's metallic and therefore conductive it picks up and exaggerates the electromagnetic frequency in your walls that comes from the wires. It's a different type of, of, of EMF, but it, it still can be quite um, disturbing to, to your, your biology and particularly to your sleep. So you've removed one, the major body, if you like, the, 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 the high frequency. You've taken a minor body, as in the, the, the EMF from wiring in your walls, and you've made it into a medium body. So we've, we've made a big leap forward in the high frequency, but we've increased the low frequency. Overall, we're still winning, but really what we're gonna do is either decrease the low frequency back to how it was, but, but we don't wanna just do that. What we wanna do is take it out altogether. So with all our canopies, we would recommend that you purchase a, uh, uh, an earthing kit as well. This attaches to the canopy uh, and then uh, and then is connected to your uh, electrical earth fire radiator or, or the actual electrical circuitry itself. So then you're on to a double a double whammy winner. You are uh, not only rid of the high frequency or reduced you have not just reduced the high frequency, you have reduced and minimized the, the low frequency that was in your bedroom before. So the Conductive canopy instead of being a negative because it, it takes out uh, or, or a positive and a negative because it takes out the high frequency but then exaggerates the low frequency has now become a double positive because it takes out the high frequency and you can use it to remove or minimize the low frequency EMFs that come from the wiring in the wall by earthing it. What this can do if you are um, if you haven't dealt with dirty electricity when your environment, which is a, another video altogether, then connecting to the electrical earth will tend to pick up a different type, of, I know this is a bit complex, but a different type of EMF again, which is dirty electricity. Uh, as you connect the, the canopy to the earth and take out the low frequency from, from the canopy in your bedroom environment, because you've connected to the electrical system and your earth, although you're only connected to the earth, of course, not to the positive and negative, which will give you an electric shock, you're connected to the earth, but some of the dirty electricity will potentially jump onto that earth and then radiate back into the into the canopy. It's, it's unlikely that this will happen, but if, if you've done the first two things, you've installed the canopy and you've earthed it correctly and you're still not feeling great, then the likelihood is that you haven't or rather that you have earth properly but picked up the dirty electricity in your electrical system there are a number of ways you can deal with that three ways actually one way is to earth to a copper pipe outside of the house in the garden via you know outside of your bedroom via a wire to a copper pipe into the ground in your in the garden well actually the best way is to shut the power off to your whole house or to certainly to the wiring around 
your, uh, your your bed, which is which is my preferred method. That's the work, the method that my wife and I have used. Or the favoured uh, choice of many people is to buy a block earth uh, filter system. Uh, they're about one hundred and seventy pounds, I think. They're on the website. Basically, you connect your earth to the electric system system via a dirty electricity filter, so you can't you don't get any blowback if you like from the dirty electricity within your your, your environment. So there you are. In short, to to shield a bedroom using a canopy. Uh, you need to get a conductive canopy because it's conductive you need to earth it because you're earthing to a probably dirty electricity supply you need to be aware of that it may be fairly minor and not not needing any attention but if you uh, have got your canopy up and working and you've got a bed mat as well and you're still not noticing a great difference in how you sleep or how you feel um, then the chances are you need to do something about dirty electricity so your three options are to get a block air filter, to earth to a copper pipe outside of your bedroom uh, and, and into the garden, or to switch all the power off at night. Um, and if you switch all the power off at night, you actually don't need to earth the, uh, uh, the camping.